be no black here, folks. And actual factual, <coughs> you watch one of my last three videos, and you'll actually see the numbers come up on the screen, and you'll see the actual factual that someone is mirroring me when I am recording. So, because if you know screen matic basically the numbers come up in the screen. Here they go one, two, three, and you're going to start recording. You can't get that on your screen. I did. Why? I'm getting mirrored. So anyway, uh, watch my last three or four videos, and you'll see. I think the number one shows up for a second in one of my videos. So this is the latest at in uh, the new USGS has got a pretty much a new map and everything like that to, from what I'm used to normally seeing. So we've got a 4.7 in the Philippines. And I was going to say that basically Puerto Rico just recently got something too. And I think this refreshed why I was in here. So because the last one, I, just before I blew it up to a bigger percentage, uh, it basically uh, had the Philippines on here. I mean, I uh, had Puerto Rico on here. So it was only like a 2.7, but I knew Puerto Rico was going to get something because of the pressure. So let's go over to uh, RSOE and you'll see what's popping off. Something up in Alaska. Virgin Islands, pretty much the same region. Puerto Rico, there you go. And then, because I misquoted yesterday and said uh, Puerto Rico, and it was pretty close enough. Virgin Islands, or pretty darn close to Puerto Rico. So, we're getting action there, and we'll go over to uh, the solar wind, folks. Basically, just one expected to hit, and it hit. Knocked out power in a lot of places. You check around the country, a lot of people lost power. If you had a transformer that had any eddies going on the ground, they bit. We had a geomagnetic storm like crazy, and it is what knocked out the power. I guess I'm an expert now. So, I are definitively in a position to tell you that that's exactly what the flip caused the power to go down. Okay? M flare hit, as you can see there, and I'll go to solar. So this will continue on too, folks. And basically, let me get, I'm trying to get us over here to our graph for the M flare. Basically, this one should be it. You should be able to click on that. And here we go. There's your M right there. Barely didn't make it, but... It's close enough for me as far as I'm concerned because basically we had all this C that I showed you earlier. If you watched my videos over the weekend on Sunday's data, pretty much showed you that basically we were getting all kinds of C action like we're getting here. I mean, it's the sun's combing its hair. I mean, crazy. C's a big... These All these are big flares, folks. Even this one, this M's big. And I'm kind of wondering if... I mean, it's so weird how it's just getting right to the edge of M. It's pretty... But it's the sun's flaring its ass off. So basically, and that's why yesterday, if you watched my video, I was telling you on how the factual that they were basically behind on showing you the data, uh, reading it and telling you the truth because proton flux is way dived down. But the actual factual, and you can see the cross phasing again, cross phasing big time right here. Here, spikes. So there's going to be some more power outages somewhere because this stuff will come in. Uh, electrical energy from outer space, folks. And let's go show you. We'll go up and see what's going on with the solar wind and everything like that. But they will go ahead and they will. And there's a Canadian graph too. It's spiking like crazy. And we'll see if we got another CME coming in. Going to hit Earth. Uh, looks like we got something coming and they're shying off on cutting it short of seeing that so we're going to get another shot of cme because that one here as you see that's going to end up tailing into us a little bit we're going to get some static there'll be some stuff going to ground any transformer out there that's got a high temperature or got eddies it'll end up going out it'll end up tripping blowing up just like at the niner game that was the most prolific thing is the, the transformer blew up at the niner game a long time ago last year in the fall Okay, it was, I think it was a preseason game, but it went down. So we got temperature picking up a little bit because the sun has been kind of cool. 
but with this spiking it's picking up and this solar wind speed is just starting to pick up a little bit and there they go they finally get us active solar x-rays we have a storm correct okay so now folks you can see the mass you can see it right there so I can't remember this is like mass 50 or whatever and it's there by there by the sun. And I'll move away. I think the clock is wrong. And yeah, the timer down here on the bottom, folks, this is, uh, well, let's put it this way. It's, I guess it's from the 27th to 928. So 927 to 928. This is the freshest we've got from Healy Viewer for seeing an action a movie. Okay. So I have a feeling this is bammo there because that came to earth okay either that or that's what we're going to get the tail of although i showed you the data a little bit earlier either either you're going to have stuff going on the ground any transformer out there just got eddies just a slight bit of eddies so any electrician can tell you and they're probably going to notice and they're going to get a good lesson if they're actively working out there in the field if you check the transformer lately and it's got anything going on the ground you better stand back and watch that baby blow up in the next who knows how many days or maybe it already has blown up because that transformer right there is blowing its ass off. That's a big ass blast. And basically, I'm starting to believe that basically the sun ain't going to quit this stuff because mass 50 has gotten into it. And we've already seen how the sun reacts all the time when something gets into its force field. That's what I pretty much call it because electrical is a big force and there's a big electrical field up there. And when it gets into it, it whammo. Okay. And actually, you can even see something kind of reaction towards M mass 50. I'm just going to call it mass 50 because it's either 48 through 55 or something like that mass. And you can't miss it. And as you've seen right there, there was a little bit of an extra little something after that CME comes out that basically gets a good static whammo right there. You see that? So basically, there is a CME reactive flare off the atmosphere of mass 50. So, it's going to be interesting. Uh, the sun's got something around it. And the, the, you know, even the Catholic Church put a telescope up on one of the... It was Challenger, the Discovery, or which one, whatever one of those space shuttles. And so, you can't miss the mass 50. You can see it right there. It's mass 50 or 55, something like that. So, it's kind of... It's named, but it's unnamed. And uh, it's huge. Okay? And the sun doesn't like it being around in its neighborhood. Uh, doesn't want it grabbing its boobies or something. Let's put it that way. Sun doesn't want anything to do with this damn thing or anything else. Okay. And if you pay attention to, there was a feed yesterday and maybe even still on Solar Artist of any way you go find uh, yesterday's data of the ahead, I think, because it was a blue shot. And there was a uh, comet that hit this kit sun and made it CME yesterday. Pretty, uh, pretty good damn good size because you got to realize that any little speck out there, grain, would be the size of the sun. I mean, any grain dot of a picture, okay? Forget this. This is stuff is the size of Jupiter right here. You see that stuff there? That stuff's the size of Jupiter. So is this stuff here. And so is like that. So, actual factual, that mass 50 is huge. And if you watch my old videos, I had the data on it and everything like that. And there it is. Go back and watch my old videos. And you'll see a good video on it. And how you find those videos, folks, is pretty much you just go to Helio Viewer and they'll show you what in the, so many hours this happened and so many hours that happened. Matter of fact, we'll go take a look at that one. That one's kind of interesting because it l looks like a shot of And you're going to see remnants up by the sun, and the sun is giving a good example of what it does to anything that comes up there to the sun. It'll fry its, fry its ass. There's some very large remnants that are probably bigger than maybe Earth and Jupiter combined. And it is just going to scorch the shit out of this stuff, okay? Now, what's scary is the size of M50, you know, mass 50 that we were showing you a little bit ago. Uh, that's, I think, what's got everybody freaked out. Big time scientists, everything, nobody wants to talk about it. Because the idea that how close will it get to the sun and how extensive will the sun do action of anything that we've already been seeing, i.e. just back the video up. And then this is, I'm, I'm very serious, folks. This here and here, these whatever two 
planets or whatever the heck they are, their mass, they're so damn large that those are basically like Jupiter and the Earth sitting up there getting their ass. Now, that's not us getting our ass right off, folks, but the idea that these objects are pretty much, this is way larger, that one remnant right there is way larger than Earth is, okay? Possibly bigger than Jupiter, but this one here for damn sure is bigger than Jupiter. So those are a couple remnants up there by the sun. Uh, getting their ass fried off. Big old torch, flame torch, and it's just going to keep cooking the shit out of that. And then there's that one big remnant that we see up, and I'll go give you Lasco, because this is coming off Lasco C2, and I'll give you the recent Lasco C2, and basically we're getting to see what they were blocking out when I showed you yesterday, more than likely, okay? And this is showing from 815, 816, 817, so this is last month. Okay, unless that is a nine, but I'm pretty sure this is last month. Okay, well, two months ago now because it is October today, ladies and gentlemen. So, and this is the camera that basically it comes from. This is the freshest feed from Navy. But let me show you that it's basically not the remnants that we know of, the big ones. Because I'll zoom in on those just in this picture here alone and you'll see. Now, more, more than likely, this does get a lot of blast from... But actually, my secrets kind of kind of come out here, if you can figure it out. Somebody could probably make a quote, and they'll know what matches up that I found down in Nehemiah. Okay? And basically, the movie projector, okay, that's basically gets projected down to Earth. That there, right there. And it's a pretty famous object, because there's a massive distance between this here and this here. Okay? It looks like it's all one, and at one time, maybe more than likely it was, but the sun has done scorched the living shit out of this over who knows how many centuries thousands of years or whatever the hell okay so this thing's around the sun a lot and uh it does but it's gotten used to it so it kind of quiets down of doing a lot of cmes to it that i can that we can tell of anyway so that was the latest shot from lasco 2 and there's lasco c3 okay so and on that maybe this could be the remnants that, but the idea is this still is part of the clear lens, but in the past I've shown you how clear that lens actually can be. So let me zoom in on that. So there's some more massive stuff around by the sun, ladies and gentlemen. There's way more planets out there that are darker, that are not illuminated, like Jupiter and the other ones. They have an atmosphere that does illuminate, just like Earth. So these are planets that probably would be uninhabitable at all because they are so dead that they don't even illuminate. Okay, that means they don't have an atmosphere of much. So, and that's why they don't put too much of a CME reactive flare off. But then they could be massive distances away from the sun too, and they're just large and they show up. It's hard to tell. So there's massive stuff out there. So and that's the latest from Lasco. How was that shot blown up? Let me go to the Nehemiah. Now this is their portable radar dome or whatever the hell it is. So it wasn't very well known of before, and then they. Had to bring that down there to get everybody's attention away from the idea of the actual factual stuff that we end up seeing. Because we've caught the shadow even at night and stuff like that. And what's interesting, and that's not it. You see what we're saying? And basically, you can even see by the positioning of it, as you see. So, this here is not this here okay so this here is this here but they've pretty much positioned it exactly where we've seen it come up at nighttime and everything like that and because you can go to the far shots away from the station and it doesn't show up okay because I'll take you to the other one and it'll show you see they had this funky bullshit here made out of wood and you can see the hollow steps on the other one that you end up being shadowed. So they're positioning it for a reason to cover up things coming up. Because also, if you go back to here, see that picture was basically fake. Because you go back here to the cameras, and you'll see that the idea that it's not there. Okay. Plus also, the actual factual that they won't let us see from this view anymore. Okay. Because the, these shots used to show exactly that there is no radar dome there. Okay, the only dome there is is on top of the building. They don't need that big of a dome. And like those pictures show, there's probably a dome down there now, but there wasn't before. There wasn't before. 
So keep an eye on all the data because we're in a storm.